Nope. I mean, I see it on OBS, although it hasn't popped up on stream yet. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Okay, we're at least halfway done with this place. Never have to go through it again. Ah, you just got 99. <laughs> I'm getting a ton of bones through here, aren't I? Well, at least Big McLarge huge stayed dead. Oh, dang it. So you come back. You must be angry, rightfully so. All right, I'll lend you my help. And with that, we got Travis. He was sitting on the bench now because he joined way too late in the game. I mean, seriously, we are literally right before the final dungeon. Yeah, let's ju- oh wait, little port was up here. So we can try and find Gunther. Oh, there he is. Okay, I guess we do have to play with him uh, at least once in the locations in order to get him to move. Yes, I know, Chichinron. Unfortunately, we can only uh, wager up to 3,000 against this guy. I have no idea why the friggin' thing spazzes out so much here. Okay, we played your game, dude. Are you now going to join up and or move locations to where we need you to be to re uh, recruit you? Let's try leaving and coming back in and see if Gunter's still here. Now I'm gonna look up, have to look up exactly what I got to do to get this guy, cause I'm pretty sure he's our second to last recruit, and we can't get the last one until we pick him up. And oh, dang it! We don't need so many ships. And uh, dang it. I had to pull a really funky Yui here just to get back in because my own ships are blocking me out of port. Of course.
Oh, hello there, Daisy. Goodbye, Daisy. Alright, Gunter, please be gone. Crap, he's still here. Did I screw something up? He supposedly also shows up over in the now, so let's try going over there. We still gotta travel through uh, where are these friggin' enemy uh, full areas. Spring. Maybe the end? Damn it, Gunter. Done with this game, and he's dragging it out. Dang it! There he is. Okay, maybe if we just play with him here, he'll move straight to Oval. Okay, take me to Oval. Thank 
Gunter, where are you hiding? Oh, there he is. I meet often, sir. One of our fates are intertwined somehow. Join you? What's this? Wow, that ship moored in the harbor, eh? All right, very well. I shall also accompany you. It seems to be some sort of fate as well. Okay, with that, we should have all but one character recruited. Now we need to head to Mordo Island. Oh my gosh, really? guy we're supposed to talk to around here. What the hell? Am I missing someone? Apparently this guy doesn't have anything to do with him. What the hell? Someone else is missing! Okay, uh, well, let me write down what star they are. This might have happened when we had that wonderful incident where I had to restart a section. Okay, Shiraku. What was it, Tenen? Tenen. Oh, Tenen is Snow as uh, well. The last guy's Snow, so. Well, not high, so Chiraku, huh? Let's see. We never got Etienne. That's who we're missing. Starting to freak out there. Oh, wait, that's right. Middle port. There you are, get back in our group already. Okay, now we're at 107. Rhinebok, get out. Yeah. 
Wait, do I need to leave and come back in with... Oh, yes! Like I got to see the other day when I saw a person just floating in the ocean. Isn't that crazy? There we go. Now we gotta just sail west for a while. Hey, Kiba's come to join us. Hi, buddy. What are you doing, Kiba? I'm at Again. your mercy. What should we do? And yes, we can murder Snow once more, but he's our final star, so of course we gotta let him in. Are you sure? I have no choice but to acknowledge how powerless I am. I knew it. I knew it all along. Thank you. And that's star 108. And naturally, he's the character I was holding out on for being our eighth member of our of our party for the final uh, dungeon. Just so the poor guy can do something right for once. And with that, now we can also I can also show off what I was talking about with the whole training trick. I already did it with several other people. Uh, yeah, here we go. So first, we uh, there we go. We need to remove everybody from the group and put snow in. This is also best done with a Rage Rune on Rion and a, whoops, and a uh, Mother Earth Rune on Ted. Also, it's a, a good move to put these characters onto your, your other boat parties, just because it takes them out of the rotation for uh, the characters we gotta fight. Because trust me, those people will uh, completely mess you up. Because there's a lot of cheating in the in the training room for the well, the guys we fight. 
And while we're here, I can also show this. And over all of our hammers. So when it comes to gear, the best set that you can actually stick on your main character in this game is... Where is it? There it is, the Ogre Mail. Hey, I only need some, uh, with gold ore. Basically, with this... Oh, how do I put it? Uh, the way this is kind of, uh, the way it's set up with the Ogre set, it gives you a ton of strength. And when you have the full set equipped, you get, um, Fury to, with no trouble at all, um, for free. So, yeah, you do so much damage with this. You stick Kika with the Ogre Mail set, uh, Double Strike Rune, and she can one-shot the last boss, basically. Seriously, she's, it's ridiculous. And then you can make Dragon Bone Armor. I'm surprised I actually had the crab shells for it. And apparently it's good gold ore for the, uh, what we need for all of this. Well, looks like it's, uh, it's that and the uh, giant crab shells. Well, I might actually try to get that set together just to show it off. Oh, many giant... I only, oh, I only have two. Oh well. Stick our Rage Rune on Rion. Then we head down to deck five. Oh wait, no. Well, now that I think I could have put the Fortune Rune on the snow, but... It's honestly not necessary with how low his levels are. See, the whole thing about the training hall is that the enemies level for this section are all set to the hero's level. So that means that they're all level 99, basically. And, oh, and there, then there's the guys who cheat. So basically, since uh, uh, Ted's so high level, he can cast uh, Earthquake all throughout this. And yeah, if you have the wizard rune in his other slide, he has enough magic to really slaughter things. Only problem is that you can only get at most 10,000 XP to know or gain 10 levels for someone, so we gotta do this a couple times to get Snow up to speed. Well, I guess going through this all should give us the the actual. Uh, no, wait. How should I put it? The big upgraded version of the uh, friendship attack, and it's actually pretty damn good. One of the most damaging attacks in the game. Seriously, if you aren't using Ted to basically one-shot most of these things, you're never going to get through here. Especially once we get to the final ones. One through three are pretty basic and not that bad to get through. But, my god, the last one will kick your ass up and down the floor. Because the game is a horrible, horrible cheater and everybody has ridiculous magic in this. Like seriously, if the enemy goes first, you're not going to win you, most of the time. I guess you can get lucky as long as they don't use magic, but if they guess magic, you're dead. And the worst part is, in the final one it is basically just RNG uh, telling you whether or not you get to win this. Because they will all basically be faster than my hero, since I don't have enough speed boosting gear apparently to really get them caught up with Ted. Yes. 
And everything here can actually survive this spell. Oh, hey, we got Lucky and she attacked. Oh, same as Selma, holy crap. Of course, you're the big bitch. And he only cast the, cast the barrier spell, yes. Reynold there actually has uh, an earth, water, and a uh, thunder bear. And based on what spell he chooses, can basically end your ass if he decides to cast uh, some of the nastier stuff. First time you get through this, you get yourself a fury rune. All subsequent times get you the slash rune. And with that, we got snow from level uh, 9 to 59. Snow is actually ridiculously strong and is one of the best physical fighters. His magic is kind of bad, though. I guess we should probably toss the fortune rune onto Snow now. If there's actual chance that he won't get enough XP. Get snow off of that stupid Daddy Blade. Even though his first two forms still have the name Daddy Blade for him. And finally, it becomes the Snow Blade. My god, it's so expensive. I mean, if anyone good deserves to have a maxed out weapon, it's Rio, and that just costs us about 300 grand. I'm pretty sure that uh, Adrian is now richer than the Reinbach family. Mitsuba, seeing you here. Not much for snow to do. Although, in all honesty, leveling up above level 60 doesn't have the biggest effect on your stats. Basically, once you get above 60, you can only get 0 to 1 stat point on level up after, well, after you reach that point. Before that, it's usually something like 2 to 3 on the par character strengths. Oh, yeah. Phone, stop telling me my storage space is running out. Oh, 
Please die. Alright, hey, Snow's maxed out. Well, I guess whether win or lose, we've got what we came for. He's casting lightning magic. Oh good, he only cast the third level spell. Oh, we are oh, most of us are dead. See, this is what I was talking about. Right, we got to go first this time. Yvonne! Okay, now we kinda need money in order to, you know, upgrade everybody's equipment. <laughs> Let's take a nap to get all of our MPs back. Did I put the slash room back on? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Oops. <coughs> I need to go do that before we actually do this. best combo attacks in the game. Thank you. 
Time to climb that hill. optional boss. Oh, don't you guys look lovely. That is one big flaming crab. And we can just use Flash. And we get 65 grand pot for that. Ah, uh, the giant crab shells though. This is where you can really grind out the crab shells. And I think in order to get them to respawn, we have to completely leave and come back in this way. trying to get some money so that we, you know, actually upgrade all of our gear that we've been completely ignoring through 90% of this game. Blocking me from going back in. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's something I almost forgot to mention before. Well, it's the start of the game, really. What if we actually go to formation and say, put. Put someone into slot one. Suddenly we're playing as Jeed. I'm <laughs> not entirely certain why this is here, but well, it's a thing. And you can only do this on New Game Plus. You really, uh, literally cannot do this unless it's New NG Plus. I mean, I guess it's nice, but it's not really that big of a thing, in my opinion. So you can see everyone's goofy run walks. Another kind of interesting thing is that this is one of those things that an odd amount of effort went into. Since I've been mean, uh, with all your characters uh, standing differently and stuff, or having different idle animations and stuff like that. 
I mean, this is stuff that you normally won't really see. And yet, here it is. He did it. And hey, look, the crab's back, just like I said it would be. Let's actually test this to see if this will work if we teleport out and we go faster, you know? Let's just swap off a Jane. Now let's let Ted be the leader. That's cool. giving us enough random encounters, aren't they? I guess if we brought along, like, uh, Igor to increase our drop rates, that would probably make this easier. And we've already got 44 grand. So let's actually go... Let's go on down to deck three. See about kidding our guys out a bit better. It's not you. Oh right, it's Chadley. I doubt oh he actually has a bargain item, it's just a meat bun. I'm gonna need a a couple of them for the other group. Holy crap, I just realized no can actually equip shields. Oh, 
Whoops, that's all platinum, not oops. Let's grab those for snow. Yeah, we didn't grab anything better. That's a lot, definitely not for that slot. The rose crest still. Oh, I bought platinum, not diamond. Oops, I'm an idiot for the helmets. There we go. items for the others that I can oh, I guess not all right like it pretty good now to bring out some of the B squad Which, well, technically Kika is a part of. But Lino... Where are you? Now, here we go, Malay. And Maxine and Kika are going to be Squad B for the last dungeon. Now we can be the Goofy Surfer King. She can get shields too. Good lord, there really isn't very much in the way of good mage armor, is there? Maybe I should get her some guard rings too. Try to get one for Kika. Silk robe. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't get the yeah, diamond helm from Malay. And she can also get a diamond shield. Nice. Hopefully this will make her less squishy. Okay, and get her her diamond helm. And diamond shield. Oh yeah, I forgot she came with the blue ribbon. Which basically means single target attack won't actually go her way. Wait, 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 forgot to do runes.
right, let's get the Fury Room to Lino, so he has something nice. Glowing, whoops, it was on melee. She's mainly gonna be uh, physically fighting and occasionally healing with that, since she has really good uh, uh, skill with water magic. Her physical stats are also pretty good. Actually, just, uh, she doesn't need the Rage Room. Not for what I got planned, anyway. And I need money! These people need their weapons uh, increased. So does Kika. Oh, we haven't finished. Uh, well, we need to actually give her her armor. Why did I go to the first floor? This is not where we teleport out. Interesting, she can't wear the, the diamond mail. Can't wear the diamond boots though. Here's another person who's in need of some uh word I'm looking for. Uh power rings. How about that Falcon rune if her do insane damage? Go again. I really should keep Snow in the groups uh, for while we're doing this to level up the True Friend attack. So probably gonna fix that after we're done here. I swear leveling up weapon seems so much more expensive in this game than it did in Super Golden 3. Keep flashing. 
Oh god, I just thought of how that could be taken in a horrible context. Yeah, now that I think about it. We can show off the new true friendship attack. Oh wait, that's Kiki's turn. And this is not the boss fight, never mind. She usually gets that because it was it's a single target thing. Keep on sending us back, Vicky. Oh, well, we're up to two hundred grand at least. done, then we can just head off to the final dungeon and end it. at level 2 and there's only one other level we can get. Uh, the next, uh, I'm actually X whenever we end the fight, but no, we haven't gotten a single crab shell here. I guess we should kick out uh, Maxine for melee. Since we don't really need to upgrade Maxine's weapon, you know? Yeah, Lino needs his upgraded too. Actually, Kika's got her third form, and Malay doesn't yet, so... There we go. Oh, now we're Malay. Might as well actually get back to being Rayon again. Make you rich. Oh, wait, I could have kicked out Snow, couldn't I? He's at his third form. He goes up to a platinum blade. Isn't that fancy? Finally, Lino gets his uh, third form. Let's 
I really don't need to upgrade people's weapons that high. I think it's mainly Chica and Snow that we really want a lot of physical damage on for their special attacks, although, you know, it is mainly a physical attacker too. Okay. Just a few more so we can get some our uh, weapon levels on Snow and Kika. Also, we get to show off uh, Lino's final form. And there it is. Oh wait, it's not a trident. It actually has four prongs on it, not three. Huh. I'm not really certain what to call that. Come on, Eva. I'm talking to you. short trip to the boss crab. We're really getting a lot of fire room pieces here, aren't we, Kiba? Huh, oh, buddy? on this island have proved themselves so much since we were last here. I mean, could you imagine having to fight these guys bef uh, when we were first on the deserted island? Pretty sure that wouldn't have ended well, right, Kiba? seeing these Hulk dudes when we were here before. up to 300 grand. Let's see what we can do with that. Even though the support upgrading weapons is expensive. No, no, no. As I recall, to actually continue the plot, we need to go to the war room. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I wanted to buy some power rings for your guy. Got enough for two. Oh well. He is going with the B squad this time around. Alright, I'm just gonna say we're done uh, getting our stuff together so we can go in this. team set up right now are really that important. The time has finally come. Now here's a simple explanation of our strategy. Uh, can you keep it brief, please? I have trouble remembering long-winded things. Definitely not going senile. I just got done saying it would be simple. You do remember that, don't you? Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, go on. I'll give you detailed instructions when the time comes. But first, about the rune cannon. Show it to me one more time. Are you what now? Are you all looking at me? I don't got Jack. Fort El Eel is at the southern end of Kuluk. It also serves as a window to commerce and diplomacy. It's called a fort, but it's more like a large castle. The rune cannon is at the top of the building. If we don't destroy it, we won't be able to get close. So first, we'll send in a detachment to get rid of it. At the same time, our main force will remain in front and attack Kuluk's first fleet. Will be a fleet. pretty forgettable uh, This fleet usually uh, roams the battle. area near the harbor in case the rune cannon cannot be fired. There are times when the rune cannon cannot be fired? Once it's been fired, that particular rune cannon takes time to reload. It was written in the letter from Mr. Amada. We'll have to trust that information. This downtime will be the perfect opportunity for us to strike. Clearly this is what the Rebel Alliance should have done in Star Wars. Just let it blow up a planet and then go destroy it. So we're going to make again. them fire the rune cannon once, then destroy it before they can fire another round. Well, that's pretty much it. Have I made myself clear? Want to hear it again? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, shall we go with this plan then? Let's do it! I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Everyone, please use this time to get ready. I'd like you to decide on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. Hey. So you are going after all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is, we're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Oh, being such a dick. Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. Yay. Time to pick our final party members. Okay, then. Decide which... They'll oh, be separated like from here. the main force for a while, so the ones you choose must be able to hold their own in a fight. 
By the way, you can't go. You must stay here and command the and forces. And you gotta fight the actual final boss with your team, you know? Oh, they're all being taken out of the oak parties. Everybody's leaving me! Okay, so, the separate task force is gonna be led by Lino. With Kika. I need to actually throw some healing stuff on my main team, don't I? Here, Malay, and where's Maxine? And of course, they're gonna take along a healer. I guess Carrie. That's not you. Okay then, I will look. Look, Lady Al. Wait a minute. Won't it be dangerous for the tactician to accompany them? We must destroy the rune cannon by any means necessary. That's why I'm going. I've got the map of the fort and the structure of the rune cannon memorized in no my head already. No one else on the ship can handle that. If you can't say you shouldn't, it's too dangerous, but she just sneaks out anyway. If that's what you think, I have no right to stop you guys. But please be careful. Okay, Ray Drew going to Rio. No fortune for you, Snow. Yeah, I guess we can keep it with the wizard ground. He's all of his stuff stronger. Now I think I'm supposed to be going to bed. Okay. The decisive battle will Apparently take place two days tomorrow getting that morning. Set up. I'm counting on you. Yeah. 
Tomorrow's our big moment, isn't it? If we survive tomorrow... Don't worry. We'll be able to return to Rosaril. That's right. Let's do our best tomorrow. Uh, now I wonder it's time what I'll do when I finally get back to Rosaril. The traditional night before the big final battle where everybody talks. It actually has a smidgen of character. And actually, most of this stuff is optional, as I recall. Hey, what are you doing here? We've got to get an early start tomorrow. I was wondering, that rune of yours, is it a great burden? You know, Brando died alone, but that was his choice. He never let anyone, not even his friends, get close to him. It's pitiful to think about, actually. Did Brando say anything? No, never mind. Uh, I'm sorry, forget what I said. Oh yeah, something I think I failed to mention about Kika most of the game. The necklace she's wearing? Can't really see it very well. But that is actually supposed to be one of her, uh, one of Edgar's vertebrae. That's one hell of a way to remember your uh, dead boyfriend, I guess. Hey, it's the other pirates. So, you're not going back to Middleport or the Rheinbach family fleet after this fight is over? <laughs> what kind of question is that? No, I'm just asking. Well, I've already severed my ties to that place. In the eyes of Middleport, I'm a dead man. I intend to stay in the pirate business. I'll spend my whole life repaying Lady Kika for taking me in. What about you? Aren't you going to find your calling? I don't think so. I too would rather stay as Lady Kika's right hand man. I mean, to have some other kind of dreams would mean that I would have to have some well, kind of character. First, we have to get tomorrow over and done with. Oh, right. What's up, ninjas? Oh. Mr. Ahmad is someone whom we owe our deepest gratitude. He helped us out when we were about to be so long ago. Ever since I've been unable to repay my debt to him. I never think about tomorrow until the day has arrived. I live for the moment. Okay, then. Awfully kind of creepy, actually. Well, okay, then. These guys aren't important enough to get cutscenes. Oh, there it is. I was taking X on the wrong part of the ship. Good for you, fat pirate. This fight is just about it. No need to worry, though. The ship's got the great Django on its side. Soon our fleet will be over. It'll be fine. We'll stay up all night for keeping watch. Please enjoy a peaceful night's sleep. And I'll allow anyone to lay a single finger on you, Sir Rion. I will do my best. Any more regrets? Let's give them more than they can handle. Look, everyone. Yeah, you guys are all a bunch of help, aren't you? Here comes a rather important cutscene for some actual plot stuff that never really gets addressed. Hmm? What's wrong? You can't sleep, huh? In that case, let me tell you a little story. The rune you now hold? It was summoned from the ruins of the kingdom 15 years ago by the Queen of Obel. She was my wife. We lived normal lives, resisting the runes lure. Then one day we were attacked by pirates. 
Our kids were on the ship, too. Flair and her younger brother, they were just newborns. My lady died saving them. She defeated the pirates, but our ship sustained heavy damage. My youngest went missing. If he were alive, he would be about your age now. Just a couple more years and I might have shared a drink with him. Oh, but make no mistake. I haven't supported you in an attempt to replace my lost son. It's not that at all. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to sleep now. You should too. Be ready for tomorrow. So, yeah, as that wonderful little scene there implies, our hero is actually Lino's lost son. That's about as close as they get to actually saying anything about that. And I guess when uh, uh, Lino's wife used the Bruna punishment, that's how it got stuck to steel, maybe? I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. But, yeah. And no, it will never be brought up or addressed ever again. Just that one scene. Seriously, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game that could have uh, been greatly expounded upon to make the story better, but Can't well, the game was rushed. Maybe a drink will do the trick. What kind of example are you setting, Lady Eleanor? We should go to sleep so we'll be ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow. I wonder if I'll see Cray tomorrow. Long ago, he used to be my subordinate, a tactician and an assistant in the service of the Scarlet Moon Empire. But out of the blue, he attacked the nobles of Scarlet Moon. How many years has it been since then? <sighs> and that's why she drinks. Back then, something definitely happened to Cray. He suddenly exchanged his left hand with a steel one. Even worse, Cray used his son as a pawn and let him die. I'm positive that something triggered his rebellion. But no matter how much I questioned him, he never answered. I already kind of explained Cray's backstory with all that, so a lot of I this is actually discharged. wrong. He was a good kid, too. But now... I regret my being unable to save him. Lady Eleanor, would you like some more? Alrighty, let's see. I'm trying to remember how many other scenes there really are. Yeah, supposedly the statue here is uh, of the character who's killed the most enemies in combat. That being Ted should surprise no one. All these three have something. Let's do our best tomorrow. We just can't lose. We just can't. So, um, 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 this is a present from us. We worked really hard to make it, so take good care of it, okay? <laughs> oh god, they want my flesh! You're gonna eat me! I think this is supposed to be a Subicoden 2 reference. And as an item, it's not bad. Actually, like, there's no reason not to. We're already enough of a speed demon groove that we don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Anybody hanging out in the war room? Oh, it's locked. I don't remember there being any other scenes on the lower floor, so I think we need to go back to our room now. Ah, there's the one I was looking for with good old snow. Well, it's finally time, isn't it? 
My strength is yours to wield. Use it as you see fit. <sighs> Although it may not be very much. Just wanted to let you know that. Well, good night. Time for Betty Baz. Hey, Lucas decided to show her useless face again. Seriously, she does like nothing but to come in, say vague stuff, and don't give up, the and then they. The of the ruin will end. The time for atonement shall pass. And this is our second reward for getting all 108 stars. Begin. That is your destiny. Uh, her imagining that the time the of forgiveness has come basically means that the whole uh, negative aspects of the rune of punishment no longer uh, hit us. It doesn't really mean that much, since, I mean, it doesn't do that much damage. I mean, the level 4 spell it has does about 500 damage to the enemy. Which, since I have a Rage Rune on, I can do more than... Oh yeah, Rune of Punishment is completely outclassed by pretty much any of the other damaging runes. I'm pretty sure that the ultimate fire spell on the basic fire rune does 500 damage. Hell, the Cyclone rune can be used for the same effect and it will actually heal the hero too. Unfortunately, I still do not know the answer to that at this time. I guess we're supposed to be going to- no, not up the stairs, down the stairs! Um, okay? Start this finale exactly. Oh, there we go. Found it. Sir, you did not have to send Lady Eleanor and our king into enemy territory. Oh. Either way, I know that it was the best boy. thing to do. I am sure His Majesty wanted it that way. Besides, I... actually, everyone has absolute faith in you, after all. Sure you do. All I can do now is wait. That is why I cannot help but speak with such worry. What do we do with this boat? It's heighted in the rocks. The fog will clear in a little bit, so we'll need to hide it too. Uh, 
So yes, we're actually uh, playing as Eleanor for this section. But only for a little bit before we get thrown into the war battle. fog is really supposed to clear up soon? Of course. Lady Eleanor said so. I love how it keeps on fading out here because the, the can't have this only one how she of predicted scene. it. I would like for her to teach me how to read the skies sometime. After me, I am to be taught first. Why? It would be a waste of time teaching you. Besides, do you even have the aptitude for it? What? What is that supposed to mean? calling you an idiot. Uh, the decoy fleet has been sent towards Elio. This little smash cut thing they love to it's do whenever we're transitioning time. scenes in this game. Like, doom. Behold, the first thing that our guys do that's actually really, really strategy-y, or whatever, tactical, whatever you want to call it. We actually use a decoy fleet, uh, piloted by the mermaids, to, well, draw the fire of the big guns. I'm not entirely certain how this scene changes based on how many of the mermaids you get. Reporting in. We have yet to receive any word from the Second Fleet. We fear all those ships may have been... Uh, understood. Thank you. Help, we're bound. Captain, a fleet is approaching us. It appears to be the enemy. Prepare for battle. Be aware of the rune cannon's firing range and draw the enemy close. Confirm the fleet's identity. Yes, sir. Great idea was to build the rune cannon in that shape. Doesn't seem like the best way of doing it. Our fleet has moved outside the firing range. It's preparing for battle. Captain, they're suspiciously in front of us. They're in range. They plan to approach using the fog's cover. That stopped them. Prepare to fire. We have not yet confirmed the fleet's identity. Not one of our own. A split second decision can cost us our lives. I'll take full responsibility for this fire. Yes, sir. Soon, they fired without confirming the opponent. Listen, everyone. Advance straight ahead. Parts of the enemy's main force might have survived. If there are any remaining ships, we'll finish them off. Hey. I don't hear them talking here. Okay, then. The enemy's numbers are staggering. There's a strong possibility that what we hit earlier yeah. was a decoy. Men, let's go.
Okay, here we go. I'll just shut up and let me look at the enemy. So, this is our only target that we gotta take out with Troy at the helm, obviously. And, well, he's got some decent uh, stats there. The big thing is the fact that he actually has no actual weakness, unlike every other one. But that's kind of not exactly true. Basically, you want to use lightning when you're attacking that uh, main one. The other one's wind and lightning. I just wanted to... No point in having them on here. Just in case we get boarded by assholes. We need better win. Doesn't look like it since Maxine's off doing things, you know? Oh, Kika isn't, all, uh, isn't the captain here because, you know, she's off doing her thing. Is that really the best lightning we can grab? It is. we can do here. Who cares about the friggin' oval ship? Not really, we do actually have to set something up over here. There's absolutely nothing you can really do here. But, I didn't get to shoot. What? You know what? 
Let's try boarding him with our uh, level 99 character. Let's, why did I get broadsided there? What? Why did that happen? I am confused. I went up to his uh, to his front so that he couldn't do that. Uh, restart. Yeah, I got defeated because of bullshit. This bug. Doesn't affect how many got underlings we get. Yeah, we're just not allowed to have many people with us, do we? Certainly moving differently this time around. Oh, that didn't work for him. Son of a bitch. This is what I get for uh, hitting all my hopes on just rushing that toy at the moment. That doesn't sucks. What just happened there? Oh, they were trying to board us. <laughs> oh, we pretty much guarantee victory now, thanks to Snow. You mean we gotta kill all the weaklings too?
Oh, whoops. That was weird. I didn't realize it was firing on two people at the same time there. Alright. Seriously, why did these guys even come to play with less ships than what we've got? This makes us way too easy. Oh wait, I should have fired Regine. And now we're finally able to continue on with Eleanor. It's a thing. Yay. There's many people as I expected, just like I thought. Huh? Okay then. As I recall, there's no reason you really need to go down to the basement. But... Lord, it's dark down here. I can barely see a thing. Hey, we don't need to fight random encounters in here, at least. Ah, uh, here's that area where the governor was earlier. Oh, well, like... Alright, there he is. Dead. And we got his cape of darkness. I guess one nice thing is that you can actually see where all the evil villainous cutscenes we've been seeing throughout the game uh, have actually been taking place in actual locations, you can see. It's either way, we're supposed to go up. And up and up and up and up and up. A single dude. That went about as well as expected. See, as I recall, yeah, that's uh, what leads to the final areas of this dungeon. So we can't go there till we're with our actual team. Now we gotta climb up these stairs, I believe. Gotta keep going upstairs. Oh, 
come on. And that's where you get your fortune orb. Oh, hi. What? Why are you here? Answer me! Long time no see. I heard rumors about you, and I just had to find out for myself if they were true. I see. So it was you all along, wasn't it? You were the one who spread the information about the Scarlet Moon army breaking through our northern border. But this is, who knows? You're it's just something that's right. randomly picked up, that, uh, brought up and dropped. That, in fact, was me. But I'll have you know, that information wasn't false. <laughs> so, you used your family in your homeland. Your skills in manipulation haven't faded in the least. And suddenly Ramada out of nowhere. Told you it wasn't dead. His left hand. It's poisonous. Be careful. And this still Please. doesn't kill Ramada. <laughs> How ridiculous. A small time crook trying to pass himself off as virtuous. Oh, enough with this ridiculous You're show. You're starring in the show. Oh, well, yeah, here's our boss fight. Honestly, it's not that bad. I mean. Fight it was basically created for your B squad of the fight. But we got Jenning win, so very low chance of him actually being able to do anything to us. Pika. I can just cast this every turn, and I'll be perfectly fine, and he's almost dead already. And dead. And then he leaves. <laughs> he got away very slowly and injured, and we don't want to chase him for some reason. Okay, back to our rendezvous point. I can handle things here. Are you Will we be okay? Don't you think that Cray might come back? Why are you worried about Cray when we just killed him in two rounds? He's got other places to go, and I've got some idea where. More importantly, I want you to secure a safe return path. Go on, take Ramada with you. Got it. We'll be waiting below, okay? Now, that'll do it for this one. He did a thing and it disabled the room again, All apparently. that's left is... I don't really see anything that really controls this thing. I'll be here if you should need anything. Please let me know right away. So basically we can go back and shop if we need to. I doubt sure why Frederica gets this special scene, given the fact that she isn't actually on our assault team at the moment. That's where Grand K is, the man who decimated our village. Our.
Okay, I don't know why they're telling me to remake my team when I already did earlier. Alright, let's get this over with. Also, Hero's Helmet! Actually, pretty nice. As I recall, we actually have to go to, through the exact same route our other team did. Even though they just finished up their whole thing. Don't know why we're really needed here. I mean, I, I should say why two teams were needed here. Up, up, up we go. Gotta keep climbing. Then we have to go back to the second floor to unlock that door. Then we can actually continue on to where the final boss battle is. This is all we fight, just two Luke soldiers. And again, the coding games haven't exactly been known for their diverse endgame enemies. <laughs> And now we got the key for the locked door. In fact, you can also take a nap on their couch. Because reasons? But seriously, uh, Eleanor's whole cruise point was to go and disable this uh, before we got here. And yet we still had to come up here! If we're gonna split us up, at least let both sides take their own unique path rather than forcing one group to go through it and then another group to go through the exact same friggin' place just to access their unique part of the dungeon. I guess there's treasure around here, probably, but who cares? We don't exactly need it. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Second floor. And there it is. I 
And welcome to the remainder of our uh, final dungeon. A spiral staircase, that's it. Seriously, I don't even know why they bother with this. Oh. Magic Canceler is an accessory put on that, well, nullifies one magic spell cast at you. I guess there are some circumstances where that could be handy, but it's fairly forgettable. And of course, we got random encounters every few steps, because Subi Coden. I should say Subi Coden 4. <sighs> As we just go up and up and up. That's always kind of bugged me is how uh, how do I put it? How much power Graham Cray had? I guess the head of a trading company and all that. But he's I mean he murdered the governor and usurped power for himself. I don't know. It just seems weird that everybody's going along oh, oh, so well with this. I think we finally reached the top. Or not, nope. Still more stairs. Clearly this was the best of dungeon design. True friend attack is now at max level. <laughs> Which is probably what I'm going to be having Rion and uh, Snow do most of the time. All the darkness. I think we're at the top almost, since there's something different on the mini map. in case you used up all your MP getting out of here. <laughs> up, 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 up we go. Good lord, are we in the clouds yet? 
Aha! Dang it. And down they go. Alright, time to save here. Saving, of course. Family Graham ran off to check out his tree. So, you've returned, O oh, rune of punishment. The runes' memories, among them, did you see a child? This is like the only real hint you get that, uh, in this game, that Graham was that kid's father. Huh. <laughs> ha <laughs> Wonderful! I too would like to hold the Rune of Punishment once more and play with those sweet memories. <laughs> Long ago, that Rune chose us. It didn't Are choose you. Are sure about you. that? This country must grow stronger. The islands, your lives, you exist only to fulfill our destiny, as does the rune. When it comes to a battle of wills, I have no doubt that mine shall prevail against Are yours. Are you sure about that? what his glowy hand is all about in this scene. Because for some reason, it summons our boss fight. Big tree. One of the more poorly named boss final boss fights. Giant tree! Let's start off using our more spread out attack with him too. Ah oh, dang it, he can't actually combo with me, can he? Yep. Well. Okay, I guess change of plans. We'll combo with Gene. Dad will earthquake, snow will just snow. Good oh. lord, snow. Oh. I'll dig out one of the little big bags.
Heck, we can get rid of that uh, status ammo with just a simple kindness rain. After all the build up it was having. Oh, I think it's dead. Oh, there it goes. You even get to use its ultimate attack. I'm totally certain punishment. how any of that was supposed to be an appeal to you it. You were once cut off from this body. Now, you do not wish to return to it again. He survives this. I'm not kidding. It's dangerous here! Hurry up and run if you don't want to die! And now we gotta run our way out of here, but this is actually a good point to, well, remove all your gear for any New Game Plus shenanigans you want to get into. Although some of this will be uh, lost no matter what. Like it really matters. We have the slash room, so. Not entirely certain why they're trying to attack us while the entire base is falling around, uh, down around us. Didn't take as long to get over here, did it?
we goofily run down to the boat to finish all this. I was like, would you like to return to the ship? It's like, the place is supposedly falling down all around us. No, I don't want to go back to the ship. We're not completely done yet. Hi, Troy. You cannot see my intentions. Then, here I go. Ah, RJ. <laughs> Yield to my sword. Feels like a normal attack to me. Yep. I'll settle this with the next move. You're really predictable, dude. Look hurt. Hey, we can ask them to come with us. Because Sui code in, I guess. Don't further my defeat with stuff. your insults. I have no desire for your pity. This is how I hoped it would end. What regrets could I possibly have? Our conflict is over. The blood of the sea flows through my veins. I return to it now. To be reborn. Let us meet again on this sea someday. Goes Troy. Kind of useless to the entire uh, everything that happened. Damn that idiot! Wasting his precious life. Dodgy didn't die. Everyone must be made out of Ramadas to survive this stuff. So, it's over. What now? I've got a question for you, still. What if... 
I didn't answer. Is there really any point to still being cryptic at this stage? <laughs> I have a good idea what it is you wish to ask me, but I will not respond. I leave you to speculate, forever without answers. I can think of nothing that will harm you more. Humans are the fools of this world, and being a human, you are no exception. And neither am I. Good grief. Is that the best conclusion you could draw? Looks like I'm going to have to train you all over again from scratch. It's going to be very difficult as we're about to die. I think. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, controller shaking even more. But, but Lady Eleanor is still. lasers. One last time into the void. And most people theorize the reason that uh, our hero manages to live with the rune of punishment is because his mother's soul is in it and it's protecting him and all that stuff. Father, Mr. Setsu asked me to do something. If you actually go, uh, during the, oh, at some point you can come into Lino's room here and you can actually steal his fancy clothes. And that basically just makes it so that Lino is in his, uh, normal adventuring attire than his kingly outfit. It's, a good it's truly a beautiful Even Flair gets a out fancy outfit for this outing. Uh. 
On my honor as the King of Obel, I, Lino and Kuldus, declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Obel. Seem happy about this it. conflict, <laughs> though tragic, has presented us an opportunity to think about the islands and their citizens. I would like to take this chance now to propose the establishment of an island nation's federation. What say you? <laughs> I hereby declare the founding of the Island Nations Federation. The state power that we're in a punishment. The first chairman of the Island Nations Federation vows to establish peace throughout the land. Eleanor once can always find excellent wine where Eleanor used to live. And it will be 150 years from now that he meets his good beloved friend and starts to be good in one. Now returns from Brazil, polishing his fishing skills and assuring me his guidance becomes a fisherman without with him. The uh, island which she determined will be his final residence went on to become a land filled with flowers. Axel succeeds his island chief on the Nile, beloved by the people. Selma, forgiven by the velvet and elder. Selma returns to the village with Paula Aldo. The Ted Elder runs after it, but uh, said Aldo later passed away due to a mysterious accident. Reinbach, though his brave noble deeds, Reinbach returns to the middle port with honor where he's his father. Chipu, rumors has that they still travel to sea on his quest to become the world's greatest merchant. Paula acknowledged for her part in the deliberation of the nation. She is allowed to return to the elder. Village Kika continues to live her life as a pirate. She will later meet her end on the high seas. Kenza becomes vice commander of the Knights of Ransville, which is now an event of Gaian. Rana survives a terrible deer and later becomes a prosperous trading company of the Kingdom of Mobile. Rana is tired of the hustle and bustle of town. He leads to oversee the ruins of Mobile. Snow, having been forgiven, Snow just spends the rest of his life as another citizen of Ransville. Rachel still chases Cedric to his days. She swears she will make him pay for his skin mills. Oh, good. Thanks for your incredible strength to become a road cutter in the Kingdom of Mobile. Every, some say the reason he's eating and skipping all the time is because he wants to to chase after him. Claim he has grown tired of judging people who retires in the midport. Ah! 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 I'm gonna read so fast! Now he heads in deep into the woods where he goes on a wild rampage. Gretchen, she now teaches swordsmanship in the Marines Academy in Razrail. Conrad, he returns to the uh, Marines Academy in Razrail where he becomes a world-renowned teacher of magic. Uh, Jules, she li lived in the Razzle for a while, but later returned to her hometown, Nanal. Katarina returns to Razzle to reinstate the knights and become the new commander. Lo Sang, after returning to Mordo with Lohag, they turned the Mordo island into a popular tourist spot. Jermaine headed to Razzle to become a fishing instructor. He taught Tal how to fish and now fishes with him daily. Lo Fong, having fallen in love with the Kingdom of Hobel, she parts ways with her brothers to live there. We get to on days when the weather is good. He can see fishing lines every so often near Nanal. Still has his older brother, he also bought himself a boat where he naps on days off. Taking after his late father, he becomes a late kind fisherman. He returns to her homeland and then Ellen lives a quiet life with Rakiji. The demise of the great trading company, countless bands from the sea. Django enjoys catching them. Rick, he works there, he's a pirate and loves every second of it. He, he hasn't taken a bath in months. Rick is used to patrol the seas, frightening all those around her. Tanya, getting interested in the history of the island nation, she writes diligently to Sunday publish her findings. Jeremy joins Opal's army and eventually becomes an instructor of swordsmanship. Gareth has said that the ship engraving that Gareth made are popular with tourists and at Mortal Hot Spring. As soon as the fighting ended, she disappeared without a trace and was seen her since. Lilam returns to the deserted island together with her younger sisters. Gary left on a journey towards the Scarlet Moon Empire in search of a place where he and his wife could live in peace. And later spawned Max, I imagine. Emma next to Gary stands Emma with her placid smile. As a loyal friend of Kika's, he vows to spend the rest of his life on the sea. Hervey continues to support Kika along with Sigurd. 
Uh, story of Rhyme Black Day Road will eventually become a cl tale of, uh, classic tale of heroism, departed on a journey to determine to spread the skill of appraising. Roger Cope, with her, with her homeland estate of Tormelash, returns to help resolve the tension between Scarlet Moon and Kuluk. Now he ran off and hid somewhere, saying uh, something about hating sunlight. Search for Valley leaves uh, on a journey towards the land of Felena. Element disappeared along with Colton. No one's seen him since. Oh, I forgot about that scene. He's uh, Colton's son. He's a Continues to research rune cans even though he has been eradicated from the world. There's an AI and he is now suddenly he's oh god, and Leloon heads to the desert island and goes off to find the others. Leloon returns to the desert island with her sisters. You, together with Carrie, establishes the free inf infirmary in the Kingdom of Obel. Carrie she becomes to use assistant and continues to nurse people with a smile. Daria setting uh, Nalio up his own operation. He dedica dedicates the rest of his life to Kika's service. Bleh. He became a general noble's army and continues to do good deeds. Rhino apparently is still being worked to death by Mitsuba. Well, uh, captured by a militant faction, insisting that he atone for the crime spreading rune cans to the world, he dies. Akagi, together with Mizuki, accepts Lino and Kulda's offers to work as a bodyguard, and it's the exact same for Mizuki. It seems he never did meet the person he was searching for. Manu kept up his home. Murmurs having begun to work on some kind of new project. Renee saying something about the subterranean water challenge that leads on her journey with rods in her hand. Maria having stopped wearing makeup. Even her best friends apparently could not recognize her. Nico day in and day out. He continues to patrol the seas in the name of Oval. Wendell, she studies assiduously at the turn to uh, prove that she knows more than Nico. Off into the orbs of Lido and Coldus, he is secretly building another ship that will never show up even in tactics. Phil, he is. It's said that he, there's no exists no tailor greater than Phil. Eugene working up his courage, he finally heads back home. Mitsuba, she is apparently still teaming up with Brian Holt, staging pseudo fraudulent duels. Lila, and she returns to the deserted island with her other sisters. Natalie, after Ilya Island has been rebuilt, her house boasts the most brilliant of window friends. Now, ran off and hit somewhere, saying something about hitting dry places. Etienne, he continues to serve Reinbach as he composed and performed enchanting songs that would be admired by all. Vicky, right in the middle of the victory, beggar, she sneezed mightily and flew somewhere else. Kate, she went on a journey to the capital of Kulik, saying that she was going to look for a former client. Charlemagne, by Reinbach's nomination, he is granted noble status in Middleport. Rita, she is apparently designing a new game that will allow her to make more money. Oh, look, he attempts to sell his clever new inventions, but no one ever takes him seriously. Peralt, he stays in the Kingdom of Obel, where he continues to write articles about the alienation. And Deborah, she quietly sips tea at the inn in Middleport. <laughs> Agnes, after cleaning up Eleanor's hermitage, she arranges to study abroad and heads for the Scarlet Moon Empire. Tristan, he becomes the captain of the Royal Guard and Noble's Army. Noah, equipping a petty thief and now helps out Champo and company with their business on Ney Island. Adrian, after opening up a shop in the Kingdom of Oval, she always has orders pouring in, said to he continues to serve the Royal Family of Oval until his dying day. Now Coley returns to Ney Island and opens up a business with Champu. The business he started with Nanko doesn't take off for a long time, he never gave up on it. Fungi, upon returning to Razriel, he refines his cooking and becomes a brilliant chef of the newly rebuilt Hall of Knights. Pekula, she travels south, determined to study the latest trends in material de decorating. Maxine, she disappears, saying that her contract had been fulfilled. Basil, he goes around on Ney a bit, but eventually returns to the sea, becoming a crew member on a merchant ship. Igor, he still makes a living fleecing steel milk chains from travelers with stingy games. Lilin, re after returning to the desert island, she goes off to search for the other sources of the missing. Carol left on a journey to a distant land to help become shining than before. Gunter, fed up with the precarious life of Gamli, he now manages a small restaurant. He was depressed for a while when Luis left, but now he sports the elegy in Leander Setsu. Around the time when the kingdom began to regain its vigor, Luis disappeared unbeknownst to anybody. Kevin and Pam return to Ilya, where they once again uh, start their cafe. Taisuke, is a, he's said to be traveled throughout the land, building luxurious bathhouse where he went. Nilo, he became a pirate reminiscent of Dario Lisa, what the legend says. Haruto, he's now seeking, working on a design, a new secret ship with Tov. Oscar, he's also seen sipping tea in the company of Deborah and Middleport. Chadley, he's working his heart out to buy a new helmet with the money he earned. Okay, what's next? Bring it on! Or is that it? I don't know, it's just a black screen to me. 
Okay, it is. Th that's it. That's all the endings. And that was Super Conan 4, easily the weakest game in the series. So much stuff was rushed and poorly done, it's just like, oh god. I mean, the friggin' ocean is bad enough. That is one of those kind of things where uh, people can take a look at and experience and just go, yeah, no more of this. It takes forever to get anywhere in this friggin' game and it's so annoying. Hey. It also doesn't help that... Basically, after you leave Oval, there's basically no plot. It's basically just saying, go here, go here, go here, go here, you're done now. After that point. There's really no character, nothing really to say that defined any of the areas you go to. I mean... Oh, how does this game really go? You start off at the training facility where things are actually all pretty decent during all that. I mean, up until you get exiled, that's all pretty good. Then there's the... Uh, deserted Island, which is padded to all hell and as annoying as crap. Then you go to Obol, which is okay for a bit. But after you flee Obol, it's like, it's just plot point after plot point. Then you go meet up with Kika and her pirates, get attacked by Snow. Then you meet Eleanor. Then you just go to the other islands. Then you uh, d no, go to Razril. Then to Obol. Then you're done. That's it. That's the game in a nutshell. <laughs> it can be easily summarized that quickly. I mean, I guess you could argue that most games can be argued with that, but I'd say that there's a lot more details to those ones to make them a bit more interesting with their little arcs. I mean, in Sui Code 1 and 2, there was a lot more... Well, like, how do I put this? Each town had their own little story arc to it that lasted about like an hour or so. I mean, this one, not so much. I mean, Nay Island, you basically go up to the Elder and say, join us, he says, okay, and then you're done there. That's the entirety of the plot for that island. Just like, why? <sighs> Good for you, Link Bahamut, I have not done so. And my god, the characterization for the characters are really, really weak in this. Trying to think of who gets any real plot development, I guess Lino does? Eleanor? That's about it? Everybody else is just like their one note self for their one or two scenes they get. Eh. I mean, Kiko really dropped off the face of the planet after she says she'll introduce you to Eleanor. You might as well not exist as far as the plot would be concerned with. Uh, what now? I'm not entirely certain. I mean, I'm hoping to have a new game to start up on Saturday, but I won't be getting that until uh, Friday evening. So, I don't know, I guess there's a few options I can do as a temporary measure. I guess I could stream some Final Fantasy XIV for some fun. I mean, I just recently started getting back into that, so I don't know. We could just do that for a few hours before I have to go off to, well, basically get my birthday presents a day early because Saturday is my actual birthday because nobody's going to be around to actually celebrate it on my birthday, but whatever. I guess with that I'll just sign off. I mean, I guess I could let the cuts, uh, the credits play out in the post-game cutscene, but really there isn't much of the post-game cutscene. In the bad ending where you don't get all 108 stars, it just shows Laszlo sleeping in a boat. In the hun and once you do get a 108 star, he stands up and looks off and sees the ship of Oval. Which really doesn't explain what the hell is going on with that. I mean, why was he floating out in that boat in the first place? He was taking a nap, maybe? I don't know, but yeah. I guess it's supposed to be implied in the bad ending you die and the good ending you live. But, once again, thanks to you all who came on out, and I hope to see you again next time.